Hey yo, what's up guys? It is me Zane, back here with another video. So today, it's pretty rainy outside, and I'm pretty bored. So yeah, it's pretty rainy outside, and I'm pretty bored because I've just been studying all day since I have an exam tomorrow. I have crep, I'm not really using it right. You've seen me crep my Yeezys before. The real question is, does it work when it's extremely dirty? Like, I'm talking, I'm gonna wreck my shoes. And we're gonna see if the crep really works. So we're gonna go outside right now, get my shoes, and we're gonna go see. It can stand the mud, the wetness, and everything. As you can see, we're outside, everybody. It's wet. Yeah, the first thing that I'm gonna do, probably jump in there. It's muddy and grassy and whatnot. It's not bad so far, but I just found something good. I found this, but it's not like so, so wet. So I'm probably just gonna get like a cup of water to wet it. Okay guys, so I'm letting these bad boys dry in the garage. They look disgusting. And hopefully they'll dry soon. 24 hours later. So guys, it's been about 25 hours right now. And they're still not dry. They're still extremely wet. They're like, they're decent. I really just want to get this over with. I'm pretty much done with waiting. I can't take it anymore. I got the crepe here. Let's get to the cleaning boys. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is take your shoes and smash them to get all the mud out and hit them together, just hit them against something and take the mud out. This is just a little tip if you want to take this off, you know. I'm using a motorized toothbrush, electrical one, and I'm just going over it and it's coming off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go open the crap and uh... There we go, right? Uh-oh. I'm stuck. God, you better send me a new one. There is freaking mold on my brush. What the hell? I don't even know if I should still use it. What the fudge? This is disgusting. What am I gonna do? Where do I put this? Do I still use the crap? How did it do this? I can't believe that just happened. Where is it even growing from? Okay, now I'm mad. I paid with my own money for that crap and I bought it, as you know, at SneakerCon a month and two days ago. I am shocked and disgusted, and I better give my money back for me, prep. Twenty-four hours later. So guys, it's been a few days later. I let the Yeezys dry. They're completely discolored. They're hard as a rock. That shouldn't be happening. Hard as a rock. This is all brown still. And I really clean hard. I clean for hours and hours. Just compare that to this. And you can see how brown it is and disgusting. I'll try doing them another time. Maybe just the brush was dirty and all and the crap water, whatever. 
wanted to prove the theory of it actually working in mud because Crep did do a video on that and they used uh, the cream whites and uh, were completely white afterwards. It's not like, or they did some special effects or they replaced the shoe. I also tried getting in contact with Crep about the moldy brush. I haven't really gotten a response. So I wrote, I'm disgusted. I bought my Crep care kit a month and three days ago to be exact at SneakerCon Montreal from the Crep booth. I, I used it a few times. Yesterday I was shooting a YouTube video to showcase crap, and when I opened it, it was covered in mold. I'm disgusted and demand that you send me another one. Don't believe the hype. It's all fake. I hate it. I'm trying this again, cause I just, I don't know, I believe in it. I sort of believe in the product. I got this cleaned. Apparently my dad told me it's fine, only just if you clean it. I tried putting in some carpet or fabric uh, stain removal. Hopefully that all works. If it discolors it, I'm screwed. Hopefully this all works. So I just finished cleaning them with the kit and the stain remover. At the moment they look pretty good, but we'll see when they dry up. Because usually when they dry up, they're all dirty and get all brown again. Because I literally almost forgot about the laces. I'm just gonna go take a little bit of this. Squirt a bunch in there and put a little bit of crap in water in there. And I'm just gonna go place the shoelaces in there. Four to six days later. So guys, I have some amazing, 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 amazing news. If you haven't realized already, I got a new camera. So we're back with the Yeezys. Um, they're looking nice. They're looking really, really good. Despite the crap not working, in the end they're clean. What I did was I got some stain remover for carpets and stuff and I did a solution with that and something else. So last time I told you guys about the laces, the shoelaces. So I did that solution thing again. And listen, they're not completely white, but they're pretty good. And I fixed the frayed shoelaces. I put a piece of tape on it and with the magnifying glass, I basically burned the tip of them so that they they would close up and melt together. So all I really have to do is replace them. Saucing, yeah, I'm saucing on your main, no. Talking, what's up talking, I don't play, no. I said run it up, that's what, that's what we do. Oof. I just spent legit an hour just trying to tie these. In the end, my shoes are clean and white. But I'm not giving it to crap this time. Crep basically did nothing to my shoes. Yeah, they cleaned them like a little bit but they advertise that they can become completely white after using crep which they did not i had to use another product in order for it to become white crep didn't do the job it did not it did maybe half of the job not the full job as it's promoting in the video I had to use stain remover basically whiten them because they were just staying brown it doesn't work it's false advertising i honestly think they're whiter than before so that proves that crep does not work with mud. I think they turned out pretty well. This video took so long to make and it was so hard to do. This took days and days to make. So I hope you guys really appreciate it. So guys, this is it for the summer. Maybe I can do another video, I doubt it though. But this is it for the summer. I hope that you all have an amazing summer. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please smash the like button and subscribe. We're trying to get on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Please join the Zane Burko family and smash the subscribe button. Subscribe to Zane Burko! <laughs>